Yo, yo, how's it going, you beef jerking lieutenants? Fucking lieutenants. Well, anyway, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video from the last one I made. And in today's video, this actual video that you're watching, we will see how a guy in Scotland, more specifically, Glasgow, made 113 million pounds by just fucking calling people. Yes, by just picking the fucking phone and be like, yo, give me your money. <laughs> nah, 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 like that. Like, fuck me. I call people like loads of people, let's say like my mom, to pick me up from my university at like 4 p.m. to have my Kit Kat break. And then, let's say uh, I go with her to Toys R Us and then buy myself some Transformers toys or even Pokemons and then go and play with my friends that are over 25. And then, you know, I call people but I don't earn any money unlike this guy. Come on, come on man, you can't do that to me man. Now the guy I'm talking about is called a Lord. Faizan Choudhury. I have no idea why I said Lord. Or also known as by his friends as uh, Fizi Choudhury. Or like what I said, Jidzi. Jidzi. <laughs> but uh, whatever, this guy literally made around 113 million pounds by just calling people and getting their bank accounts and bank numbers. Like, come on, man. Like, that was so easy, like a fucking tortoise on a fucking bitch. Like, come on, how can you be that dumb? But still, he made money. Now I guess most of you will be like, how the fuck can you get a bank number or someone by just calling them? Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you how he did it. So he basically picked up a phone, called a business, and then told the actual business that he needs your bank account and bank details because there's some dodgy activity going on with your bank account, so he needs to fix it. And he actually convinced the staff working at that business to give out their details by telling them the last transaction that they made using their bank accounts. Or in more easy terms, what was the last thing or sex toy <laughs> that they bought using their bank accounts? And also, he told them the name of their bank manager because it's quite private. So he made it look more convincing. And uh, basically, the victims for he was an actual staff working at the bank and then just gave out their details and basically he robbed them. So afterwards he just took the money, less than 100 k each time, to make it look, you know, more you know, realistic. And then, you know, he just took the money. Come on, man. That was a bit too easy. <laughs> but anyway, he also had an inside man working for him and leaking details. And then after this guy <laughs> made his money, like tons of money, he had a group working for him, so he split the money and got like 30 million. So afterwards, he spent his money buying Lamborghinis, Mercedes, mansions, Ferraris, and basically living the, you know, the luxury life, you know, the high life. Or, fuck me, I'm gonna do some drugs, <laughs> like any teenage Disney star nowadays. I'm not looking at you, Kevin. Huh? I'm not looking at you. You know he's not even fucking for a Disney, you know, creation. Yeah, but whatever. I'm not looking at you, Kevin, man. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> no. But he was living, you know, the good life for, you know, a couple of years. However, oh shit, man. <laughs> if this guy didn't get wrecked. So basically, I'm saying that after he done his scam and, you know, he lived a good life for, you know, a couple of years, he got fucking arrested. I think, I don't know, last year, this year, I don't know. He got arrested and he got arrested on his way to France inside the airport. And then, you know, he got 11 fucking years in prison. He's gonna get boot fucked. <laughs> Some gay shit going on in prison. <laughs> so he basically got 11 years in prison, including his friends with benefits. <laughs> friends with benefits? And including the man that was working inside. So at the end, we got wrecked. <laughs> Too bad for them. Yeah, fucking bastard. And the victims actually didn't get their cash back. Sad. But at the end, guys, don't do this shit. <laughs> Just don't do it, man. When something is way too good to be true, there is always a catch. And this guy, you know, find out the hard way. So don't actually do it. And basically, that's it. <laughs> don't do it, basically. Unless you got, you know, the balls of steel. But anyway, I'll see you lot in the next video. That's gonna be out in a few days. And till then, comment, subscribe, and like. And adios from war.